In this video from Learn Electrics, we will look at why a fuse will not blow or a circuit breaker not trip at the rated current stated on the device. After all, a 5 amp fuse is a 5 amp fuse, right? The questions started with this drawing about TT systems. 5 amps working current flows through a 6 amp breaker and into the load, and 5 amps flows out again. 5 amps is less than 6 amps, so the breaker does not trip. So far, so good. The load has now developed an earth fault, and 3.8 amps of fault current is flowing to earth. This is a TT system, and so this 3.8 amps might be a typical fault current through the soil. 5 amps plus 3.8 amps is 8.8 .8 amps, which is greater than 6 amps. But in the video, I say the breaker does not trip which is why we must have a 30 milliamp RCD to give us protection from electric shocks. How can this be? There is a common misconception that a 5 amp fuse will blow at 5 amps, and a 6 amp circuit breaker will trip at 6 amps, and so on. This is wrong, so let's look at this in steps. A 5 amp fuse will carry 5 amps as its working current, not the tripping current. A 5 amp fuse will conduct 5 amps for 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. That's the design criteria. A 6 amp circuit breaker has a working current of 6 amps. A 32 amp breaker has a working current of 32 amps. So what current will trip a fuse or breaker? First, we need to know how quickly it must trip. If it trips too quickly, this will result in nuisance tripping and too slow a response might endanger life. We talk about protective devices and tripping for safety, and we use a benchmark figure of 0.4 seconds maximum tripping time. This is because most healthy adults can survive a 230 volt electric shock of 0.4 seconds duration. We'll be using the charts and tables that are shown in Appendix 3 of the wiring regulations. If you have the 18th edition Amendment 2 book, then turn to page 409. And we can begin by looking at a 5 amp fuse. In this case, it's a BS88-2 fuse, System C, and this chart is found on page 411. The scales on these charts are what is called logarithmic. The scales are non-linear, and they jump up in multiples of 10. Shown here is a vertical scale, the time in seconds. Take 0 0.1 seconds as shown. The next line is 0 0.2 seconds, then 0 0.3 and so on in tenths of a second intervals up to 1 second. Then it is 1 second intervals, so 1, 2, 3 and so on up to 10 seconds. Now 10 second gaps, 10, 20, 30 etc. You get the idea. This method makes it accurate for small numbers and space saving for large numbers. The horizontal scale is for the amps, the fault current, and again, this is logarithmic. 1 amp, 2 amp, 3 amp, up to 10 amps, then 10 amps, 20 amps, and so on. And with a little practice, they become easy to read. The curved lines are called response lines, or response curves. They show how the fuse responds to currents of a certain size. These are the standards to which the fuse makers must work. The vertical lines are the fault current and the fuse will blow when the fault current line and the response line cross each other. Where they cross is shown in seconds on the left of the chart. Here we have highlighted the response curve for a 5 amp fuse and the red vertical line for 5 amps of fault current. As you can see, they never meet. The fuse will not blow. 5 amps will not blow a 5 amp fuse. If the fault current was 8 amps for the same 5 amp fuse, the lines will now cross. Reading off the seconds on the left at the point where they cross, we have 3800 seconds. This is just over an hour before the fuse blows. Whoever is hanging on to that live wire is long dead by now. Not until the two lines cross at 22 amps of fault current do we have a disconnection time of 0.4 seconds. 
and this same 22 amp figure is given in the table at the top right of the chart. 5 amps will not blow a 5 amp fuse and we need at least 22 amps of fault current to cause the fuse to blow within 0 0.4 seconds. We can stay with 5 amp fuses and look at the once very common BS3036 rewirable fuse. You will still find lots of these across the UK in older domestic and commercial installations. Looking at this chart on page 412, you will see the familiar response curves. But look, now, even at 9 amps of fog current, the 5 amp fuse will not blow. 10 amps of current will cause it to operate, but only in 150 seconds, or 2.5 minutes. This is not going to achieve our aim of tripping for safety. Looking at the top right table, we can easily see that we need at least 24 amps of fault current to achieve a 0 0.4 second disconnection time. Let's look now at a 6 amp circuit breaker, such as we install in today's consumer units. Here we've shown the chart for a 6 amp BSEN60898 Type B circuit breaker. It's also the same chart for a 6 amp RCBO to BSEN61009-1. Look at the chart. You can see that at 8 amps the fault current line and the response curve do not cross. The breaker will not trip. This is why with our TT system right at the beginning of this video we said that we could not rely on our circuit breaker to protect us. It will not trip. So we rely on the protection offered by the RCD. Looking at the top right table on the page, we can quickly determine that we need a fault current of 30 amps for a 6 amp type B circuit breaker to operate within 0 0.4 seconds. On page 418, it is a 6 amp type C breaker, and you will come across these in many installations. Their response time is slower than the previous example, and looking at the table, we note that a 6 amp type C breaker needs 60 amps to reach the 0 0.4 second goal. And now the type D 6 amp breaker as shown on page 419. Again consult the top right table and we find that this device will achieve 0 0.4 seconds disconnection time when 120 amps of fault current flows. This table just as an example gives a quick comparison of types B, C and D breakers, how quickly or slowly they react to different fault currents. A type C device responds more slowly than a type B breaker. And of the three, a type D is the slowest device to respond. And this must be taken into consideration when thinking about changing a type B for a C or a D type. A quick summary then. A 6 amp breaker is designed to carry 6 amps as a working current. It will not trip at 6 amps. The tripping time depends on the fault current. And we hope to achieve a tripping time for safety of 0 0.4 seconds. For a 6 amp type B circuit breaker to trip in 0 0.4 seconds, a fault current of 30 amps must flow. And Appendix 3 shows the response curves, and the adjacent tables show the tripping time for different fault currents. And that wraps up this video from Learn Electrics. We hope you found it useful and informative and that you've added a little more knowledge to your mental toolbox. Thank you for watching. It's very much appreciated. Please subscribe to our channel to get access to all of our videos and remember to click on notify to be sure of not missing our next video. And you will find even more information, videos and help on our website at learnelectrics.com. And don't forget that you can also type in Learn Electrics, or one word, into the YouTube search bar to go directly to our channel at any time from any computer. We are constantly adding new videos to our channel, don't miss the next one. And once again, thank you for watching, and we hope to see you again very soon.